Hi everyone, I'm Professor Sally Eve, CEO of Tech for Good Enterprise Aspirational Futures. Now, a recent LinkedIn research report has found creativity to be the most in-demand soft skill today. Now, although that's a term I think needs free framing a little bit, so maybe essential skill for life or similar, it does serve to bring to the fore just how important creativity is and that ability to bring something original and valuable into the world. So what it inspires us all to create? I just searched online about that very question, so what is the inspiration, and found over 4 billion results. In fact, there isn't a universally agreed on definition at all. In today's age of personalization, perhaps inspiration was ahead of all of us. It's always been personal. So for me, inspiration comes from helping others to discover their own capability, to be curious, to explore new things, to develop a whole range of STEAM skills. That's that combination. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics all coming together and critically the confidence to apply all those skills too because everyone can make a difference and when you see someone gain that agency that self-belief to go full circle from mentee right through to mentor I really think that's a true privilege and I believe that the power of curiosity creativity and inclusive collaboration is at the very heart of enabling all of this and it's something we can all harness together to tackle some of those big challenges of our time from digital exclusion you know, right through to climate change as well. Similarly, we've also seen the clear connection between the growth of the creator economy and the acceleration of the digital economy too. So actually bringing all this together, it can foster greater shared value for all. So the question, the question becomes, how do we do this? Now, how can technology help? If I knew someone with a world-changing idea brewing now, also what would I advise them to do? So firstly, I would stress that technology and education, and I say this a lot, they go hand in hand. So always invest in yourself and your team through holistic skills development, through mentoring, through sponsorship, alongside investment in technology that can grow as you and your idea does. I think that's hugely important. Secondly, I'd always advise to choose a trusted partner and one with a proven track record of innovation but also of skill support as well and one that's benefiting business and society too. I think IBM is a great example of this. It's been a real pleasure to be a mentor, a speaker and an advocate on their programs. For example, Call for Code, which is open source collaboration for good at its very heart. Also the recent student hackathon and the Hyper Protect Accelerator program for startups too. Some great examples of tangible impact there. Additionally, I'd also stress that bringing your idea to life also involves three key phases to bring that to reality, namely analysis, implementation and execution with future proofing. So let's dive into what those phases look like and how I've used them myself too. So firstly, it's analysis. Before we get to that data, we need to evaluate our path ahead. And design thinking and the garage approach in particular can be extremely effective and bring a diversity of perspectives together too. So, so important. And then for the analysis itself, a focus on AI and data fabric tool sets can help you to better predict and shape your project's future outcomes. It enhances that collaboration. It allows you to gain access to trusted data faster and to the right person just in time. It also informs decision making and helps achieve the optimal analysis to set your project on that best path to success right from the very start. Plus potentially affording data repurposing opportunities as too to reduce data waste, a huge win for embedding sustainability by design, again a subject close to heart. Now, IBM Cloud Pack for Data is a great example of the support available, one I've used alongside AI to help predict results faster and with more granularity when experimenting with new data literacy approaches, something I do working with schools and enterprises alike, helping individuals to identify the learning style that works most effectively for them. It provides a great perfect pairing, if you will, smart technology and smart learning together with some really empowering results. Absolutely love that. So our next phase is all around implementation. It's in a key, key phase and one where a focus on business and IT automation can optimize efficiency and results right across the life cycle. So across workflow, decisions, content and insights and unleash that time and freedom to focus on higher value creative initiatives with benefits right across commercial and social impact lines. Again, shared value. In other words, it can help you create and unleash your capacity to create 
create and co-create as well. So whether you're a solo creator, a burgeoning startup, maybe with limited resources, these trusted tools such as IBM Watson Assistant can provide intelligent assistance and give you more precious time back. I love that. So more time to scale your world-changing idea. And it can also help in other ways too. Something really important here, like burnout, for example, an issue that's affected so many people right across the pandemic and the transition beyond, you know, from middle managers to IT teams to SMEs alike, the list goes on here. As an active mentor in this area, I've also seen firsthand the impact of Watson Assistant and other conversational AI tools to support mental health. Its use can create a safe space for people to share how they really feel and get support before, say, then speaking to their line manager. It can make such a difference to everyone, so highly recommend looking at that. And finally, it's the phase of execution and future-proofing. So using secure hybrid cloud as a smart choice to flex and grow as your world-changing project does can be super effective here, affording the capacity to skill and build once and manage everything from a single pane of glass. And with zero trust security strategy embedded by design as well, so helping to reduce your risk along the way. So making the very most of your assets, the IBM Maximo application suite can help to streamline asset operations, whilst developments like Guardian Solution can allow you to safeguard security and keep data where it resides, rather than having to move it to another place. This approach not only has proved useful for optimizing assets, but also for protecting them. So personally, for my new research publications and also the draft of my Tech for Good book, definitely something I do not want to lose. So I think the time is now to go further still let's use this technology to not just maximize return on investment but return on social investment as well I really think that's the path ahead so reflecting on all these examples I think it really shows that we have a great synergy of power here the power of creativity of technology of holistic skills development and collaborative culture working hand in hand not just for business benefits but for social impact benefits as well which create shared value for everyone with this mindset this capability there is so much we can achieve individually and collectively too so let's do that let's create a contagion of positive change let's do it together Together. Let's start that today.